Hey, good morning everybody, it's John Thomas and welcome to your daily distraction. Today I'm doing something that I haven't done in a long, long time, and that's go golfing. I know, crazy, right? I haven't been golfing since maybe I was a teenager. It's been so long. Golfing is not something that I enjoy doing. It's something that uh, my entire family loves to do. Shout out to all of you watching. But it's something that I have never gotten into. I do not have the patience for it. I got, I mean, I just remember, I mean, it's bringing back flashbacks, just even thinking about it. But I remember getting so frustrated When you would hit the ball and it wouldn't go the direction that you wanted it to, I would get beyond frustrated when, you know, you're, I, I don't even know all the terms, but, uh, you know, you, you have a certain par that you want to hit, like, you need to finish the hole in four par or four shots, and I would be at, like, 10 or 12, and just never, never uh, enjoyed doing it. So, so what do I do, just aim for the pond? No, you're not supposed to hit it into the water. But you hit it into the water. I know I hit it into the water. But why do they even have water if you're not supposed to hit it there? Because it's fun! We're having fun! Look, it went further than your ball. But I did enjoy the driving range. Like, I didn't mind going and hitting a bucket of balls. And so I'm doing that today in China for the first time and so I thought that it would be a fun video and maybe a little bit of a distraction to share with you what it's like on a golf course here in China because they're everywhere surprisingly enough they are in a lot of the cities but you never see them so I thought it would be kind of fun to do that today uh, but before we do that I need to get ready I have to pick clothes there is not a dress code like there is in the states you know in the u.s there is usually a dress code two words that cause a lot of problems and confusion in the golf industry dress code hey as a golfer it's up to you to understand what the dress code is at the golf course you're going to play uh, i was told i could wear whatever i wanted today so i think i still will dress up a little bit maybe a polo shirt or a button-down shirt and some uh, jeans, I think. I'll show you what I put together on my way out the door. But I I'm just excited to one, be outside, two, uh, hang out, and three, smash the shit out of something to release some of my energy that's been pent up for the last couple of months. So let's get started. All right, I'm ready to head out to go golfing. I am super excited for this, actually. I am ready to smash some things. I'm ready uh, to just get out and enjoy the outdoors. I don't know if I'm gonna have to wear a mask while I golf, but we'll see when we get there. I keep checking to see if there's any restrictions, like dress code. Two words that cause a lot of problems and confusion in the golf industry. Dress code. Hey, as a golfer, it's up to you to understand what the dress code is at the golf course you're going to play. Where you have to wear a collared shirt or no shorts or no hats and there's literally no dress code for where we're going. So a little bit different than what I have remembered experiencing in the US. So I'm wearing a hat and uh, I am wearing a collared shirt though. So I uh, felt like that was the right thing to do on the driving range. Don't know if I'm right or not but that's what I'm doing. I'll see you guys at the golf course. All right, so we are here, but they don't allow foreigners to play right now because of the whole situation. So we're checking to see if I can actually play today. That's crazy.
First one. Hey everybody, it's me. I am back from my golfing adventure for the first time after four and a half years of living in China. I went to the driving range. You saw how I did. Some of the hits, I actually like... remembered some of the things my dad taught me so shout out to you dad because I remembered a couple of things uh, but I also got that well, that looks inappropriate but I got a, a like a blister even so I don't know if I was holding it right or you know I only had a glove on my left hand but super excited about that like when I work out at the gym and I get my calluses I feel really proud so I know I worked hard today to get this on my finger. Sorry about flipping you off, that's not my intent. But I will absolutely do that again. That was so much fun just to get out and smash the shit out of something and uh, actually do well. I, I think I did better than I had expected. I thought that everyone I hit would just like fail, but it didn't. And actually like went places but I think I like the driving range a lot more than I like the uh, game itself because the game itself I think I feel pressure for the people behind me there's pressure about getting the numbers so I think I'll continue to practice but anyways I was actually I'm pleasantly surprised at the outcome today and really excited that my coworker took me and uh, let me use his clubs and show me around. And I can't believe the first place wouldn't let foreigners in to play. That was shocking to me. But then we found another one and they're like, we want your money. We don't care who's coming, come on over. So we got to go over and play and so that was an absolute blast. So hope you liked Today's daily distraction, I sure as hell did. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. Felt great to get some sun. I think that I am a little burnt, which is awesome too, because it's like I got that vitamin D outside, which I really like love. And I'm gonna be sore, like I can feel my back sore. I was hunched over, but totally worth it. That was so fun. Thank you so much for joining me on this little daily distraction today. Uh, I know it wasn't much and the video will probably be another short one, but it felt great to get outside and play some, I, I wouldn't say play some golf, hit some balls. Hit, the, hit a bucket of balls? Is that the phrase? Smash those balls. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> what is the phrase? Anyways, it felt great to go hit a bucket and a half actually of balls and uh, felt great to get back in the swing of things. Pun intended. All right, you guys have a great rest of your weekend or whatever day you're watching this on, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.